My name is Dr. Toddle, and today I will be making a medical demonstration for you using the latest insurgent simulation technology. I am also required to tell you that this that this video is being supported by the writer Swan of War, who is looking to raise thirty dollars a week so she can quit. Well, not quit. What was what you said? Oh, right. So she can take time off from her job to make spend more time in working on Dragon Ball Z A Good Man and her other fanfiction writing. Is that right? Oh, good. Anyhow, this is not obligatory and it will not stop her from writing if you do not donate. But the donation link will be in the description and I am very happy to demonstrate you what kind of work, ethic, and determination that goes into performing a surgery. All right, let us begin. Oh, all right. Apparently, I will be uh, controlling a digital robotic arm. It's a bit odd. Oh, good grief! Controls. Left mouse button to lower. Well, I did it. Right mouse button to rotate. Alright. Uh I'm controlling the fingers. Oh, civil robotics. Got it. Very well. So I gotta say, good grief. This desk is a mess. Personally, I think it's important for a doctor to keep a very organized space so they always know where all their equipment and papers are. And. No, 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 this has to be wrong somehow. What? What? What is this? The Dark Ages? This, equ this equipment is archaic! I was expected to operate on this man using technology that's been out of date for like. I don't know. A thousand years? Oh. This is not what I was told we would be doing. I was told we would be doing an accurate simulation of surgery. Modern surgery using, you know, electrical and energy tools. Not, not this barbarism. This is the best simulation you could come up with. You're know, fine. I'll just roll with it. So we we start by very carefully ex exposing the patient. Wait. What is the matter with this robotic arm? Let's try that again. Very carefully ex exposing the. It carefully ex exposing the. What? Okay, first off, one. Why was I even wearing a watch to begin with? You do not wear watches in Surrey. No. Never, never, never. And second off, where are my gloves? Did, did, did doctors ever actually stop wearing, you know, sanitation? This is. This. You know what? We're gonna change the theme of this. We are now demonstrating. What not to do as a doctor. Bad doctoring techniques. The first thing you do not want to do is to use a for God forsaken. Why is this arm stuck? You do not want to use some God forsaken tool like. What? What? what what's, what's happened? Maintenance! I think someone broke the simulator! Keep going! Oh, I put up with. Very well! Well, I suppose if I was forced to operate with tools like this, I would very gingerly part his chest cavity. Good God. But actually, I'm actually expected to remove 
the chest cavity. So if I very, very gently part the bones. Someone fix the machine! Looks like that one concert I went to as a, when I was a child in here. Alright. Oh god, look at all those bone fragments we're leaving in the patient! Ugh. Well, again, if you are for s some reason forced in this situation, just just let the man die. For God's sake, just let the poor man die, because operating on him with this is, is worse than just letting the man die. I don't even want to begin with the with the negative repercussions that could come from operating on a man in this manner. So, so that's my advice to you all young doctors out there. Just let the poor man die, rather than submit him to this. Well, but, if you want to press forward, like I'm being forced to, I suppose, very, very carefully remove any dangerous particles from the patient's chest cavity. Ugh. If I could just get this, get this. what am I even grabbed onto? Well, first off, if we're using synthetic robotic technology to operate on a man, why would I be using archaic tools like this to begin with? It's like the, it's like this you're intentionally mocking me. How am I supposed to get to the heart? Normally, uh, I suppose at the very least would have some clamps to like, spread the organs so I could get down there and, and gently remove it while he's on a... I, uh, let's just try to get that bone fragment and- OH MY GOD! HE'S STILL ALIVE?! What? I- Blood level's normal! I just ripped his lung out! But- I, um- so, um, when you are operating a patient, you must make sure his organs always stay intact. Yes, always keep the organs intact. Don't. And if you somehow manage to remove them, very carefully store it in the table? Just that makes like some preservative solution here or something. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I suppose that the heart is exposed. So, we, but there's still some bone fragments in this cavity, so we should. Dear Lord. Very gingerly. Uh, gingerly reach in and, and remove. The bone fragments. Carefully and safely on the stray here so the man will not get internal splintering and die. Which he's going to die anyways cause, because these, these tools that I'm going for to use are definitely going to kill the man. Without a doubt. What? I don't know! Uh, oh! I seem to have removed the man's liver. That, that is all right. We will gently sit at a sob. Why is it rolling? This is... All right, what's going on here? You told me I'd give you an accurate simulation. There's nothing accurate about this. I... Stop laughing! Is this some kind of joke? I have a mind to... Are you kidding me? No, I don't think it's funny!
apologies. We, it seems in this accurate simulation, the patient is fully capable of surviving without with the, with the reduction of their organs, and we are in fact expected to do so to get to the heart, and in fact is the only way to get the heart, so I know it. We are going to change the purpose of this simulation. It is now not how to operate a man, it is how to violently massacre a man and the way they'll get you ended up on probably prison ship three so let's just get to it because this is what my superiors want me to be doing with my valuable time because you know so you know we don't need that what does a man need ribs for so let's just get you know a knife any kind of knife will do not bone. But you know what? Actually, yes. You want to use bone to cut the man? Go right ahead. Because proper sanitation and safety does not matter when we are killing people in a most malicious. <sighs> malicious. Yeah, I wish malicious. Vicious manner. So you know what? Just go right in with your basic sharpest knife and just. Cut his stomach, esophagus, right out of him. <sighs> yes, there goes his stomach, because he doesn't need that. He doesn't. <sighs> Good God, I can't even butcher the man properly. Latest insurgent simulation technology, my ass. You... Never mind. Focusing on the video. Focusing on the video. This is got to be the worst demonstration of how to sim. So I can't. You got me so flustered. I can't even speak right now. So good job. Good freaking job. So stomach not needed. See if, now see if we can just rip the man's lung right out. Oh, good grief. And now I get my hands in the wrong. This. Oh, yes. Lungs. Not necessary for survival. All we need is a healthy heart. Right. Now we have to cut the rest of his innards out so this man can be. So this man can be successfully disemboweled. Did I just drop a scalpel in the. Do you know what? Go ahead. Bleed. Bleed, you damn fake patient. I don't care. It's not like I went to university all these years and became a, a true doctor just so I could make fake simulation videos. What? Now? You want me to reiterate that? As if this video isn't as stupid already as... Right. Fine. On a war, like to good damn friggin' what is? Why can't I reach it? It's right. Gee. How oh, great the patient is losing blood and dying. As I said, he would die. Frankly, he'd be dead by now already, since he's missing all all of his internal organs. But what does that matter? Alright, I think... I think I have successfully exposed the heart. What? Oh! Fine, yes. I am required to remind you that the purpose of this string is to raise money 
Okay, it's not a stream. I'm used to streaming videos, not this archaic recording bit. Ugh. The purpose of this recording is to raise $30 a week for sort of goddamn war. Because apparently, if she can make 30 a week, she'll have enough money to get by and she can spend more time writing. There you have it. I am busy murdering this man by absolutely destroying his insides beyond repair. He is bleeding furiously. What? Stop the bleeding. All oh, right. Apparently, I'm supposed to stab a needle into him, and that will apparently stop the the saw. This robotic arm is the worst. All right. There, the bleeding is ceased. And. Apparently the simulation has just been repaired. What do you mean that was part of the simulation? Oh, very funny. What is this, a game? You know what, I'm not talking to you anymore. Nope, not talking to you. Murdering a man. All right, I believe we have successfully completely cut off his heart and essentially destroyed his insides now we just got to reach in and successfully remove the torn out organ Why doesn't this arm reach further? It's like this they're trying to make this difficult for me. You son of a son of a bitch, just give it to me. By the defiler's vomit, just grab the heart! Fine, you know what? This doesn't like there's anything realistic about the surgery, anyways, so we are gonna do something stupid to get the heart out. Apparently, we cannot reach it with our bare hands. Oh, yes, very accurate simulation of surgery. In hell? What am I supposed to get it out with? There. Alright. We will now... <sighs> further inflict death upon this man while I try to nudge this heart into a place where I can actually reach it and remove it from his devastated cavity. Right, now he is once again bleeding. And now we are going to remove the heart. Did I even move that thing at all? Why? Why are you subjecting me to this? What did I... Got... <sighs> calm? We will be calm. Just get those... Longer tool. So, 
Gingerly. No. Gingerly nudge the of a crying out. Okay. Right. The Really? Let go of the dish! Oh! I swear, was this game invented by a Saiyan? No! See, it's too stupid to ever come up with something as. Oh. So, someone's going to. Give me the. God! Ah! God! Damn it! Son of the defiler's feces! Just give it a give it to me. Yes. All right. Now! We will continue to approach the problem of his heart being out of my reach. Ow! You see what I'm doing? You see what I've been reduced to? I am using the man's own ribcage to nudge his heart to a place where I can actually reach it! Damn distortion, I can hardly even tell what I'm doing! Get! <sighs> Doctor! Time of crisis must remain calm! You know what? I'm just gonna cut away the rest of his ribs. That's logic. I love him. Which needle is even the right one? Not that one, apparently. Somewhere. Mother. No. Oh, great! Now the needle's in his chest cavity. You know what? We just, we just drop everything in there. You know, at this point. Oh, no! Not giving up. Not giving. Medication in the poor man's veins. God damn it. Don't. I just. Give it! For a good son of a. Son of a Saiyan! And his whore! Give me the. You know what? Oh! 
bleeding stopped. You know what? Bring it. Take the front heart and just drop it in there. There! You see? I completed the surgery. The man is cured. He's going to die. And I am done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to go cry in my room now and drink a very, very, very large cup of tea. Thank you.